All right, hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jessica. Today I'm doing an update for my Pan That palette. It is my seventh update for my MAC quad and then my second update for my Hourglass face palette. I'm looking at my videos right now and the last time I updated you all was January 17th of 2020 and it is June 3rd. So I've been gone for quite a bit of time. Um, I have a video where I explain where I've been and yeah. But let's just get into it. So there is a little bit of progress. Um, well, I'll show you pictures from not last month, but the last time I updated and then this month. <laughs> So first things first is my MAC quad. So there is a bit of progress on here, meaning my expansion of the pan on Creole Beauty is a lot. Um, and then I finished this vanilla, I think it was manila paper. Yeah, manila paper shade up here. And yeah, that was to be expected. I have um, dipped into this one, which is Aztec Brick a bit. And I really haven't touched this gold shade, which is Flip. I haven't touched that one at all. So yeah, I have made some progress, but not as much progress as I would have liked. I, on my Project 50 pan, I'm also panning, well, I was panning two different shades. I was panning um, my ColourPop Super Shock Shadow in Birthday Cake, I think it was. Um, it's like a pink shadow with silvery um, specks in it, and it's really pretty. So I've kind of been, it, it was like on its way out. It's starting to get, it was starting to get very... Um, chunky and like dry so I was really trying to concentrate on that plus with all the craziness going on there's been times when I've been like wearing makeup every day and then times where I've had like a week off no makeup so it's kind of been inconsistent in that manner so anyways I will say spoil spoiler alert for my project 50 pan there's definitely progress possibly a finished shadow with my single shadow um yeah so that is why there's not as much progress as I would like with this. However, I do think that I'm going to be making a lot more progress now um, because there's just, I don't have any other shadow that I'm really trying to pan at this moment. I know I have a shadow in my Project 50 pan, a pigment, which is like a brown, like bronze color, but I also have this, so I'm gonna make this one a priority first. So there is that one. Hopefully there will be progress the next, time of update which will hopefully be on what's June 3rd right July 3rd <laughs> so hopefully we'll be seeing progress then however uh we know the craziness going on don't know how much time how many days I'm gonna be wearing makeup or not wearing makeup I'm gonna try and do it at least every other day we'll see we'll see how much progress I make I don't think that there will be goals I do think that you know I was re-watching my last video just to see like where like what I was saying because it was so long ago and I was saying that I was really trying to work on this Creole Beauty shade because it was starting to get hard pan and you know really tough to work with and I wanted to use it up before it went bad and I had forgotten about that um, over these last few months. I started to dip a little bit more into this. I'm wearing this one today on my lids. I don't know how well you'll be able to see it um, but yes, so I think I'm going to start remaking this a priority. I may play a little bit with this one as well, but, um, yeah, I'm going to try and make Creole Beauty another priority, which honestly, like the pan is pretty expanded anyway. So if I could get it, you know, where it's like a lot thinner on the sides, expand the pan even more, I think it would be very exciting. Okay. On to my Hourglass face palette. So we'll do... Uh, pictures from the last time I updated to this month. Okay, so there's a lot of progress in this, thankfully, and I think a lot of it is because I wasn't panning something else um, in this type of category, if that makes sense. So like I'm using this as blushes, blushes and highlights. Um, the last time for this highlighter, it was, I had a smaller, like, I think I was hitting a little bit of side pan over here, but it was altogether smaller. Now there's just a tiny bit up here taken out, 
and then still um, quite a bit of product down here. This one, this is also a highlight, but I'm not touching it yet until I finish off this big strip right here. I know this is supposed to be like a space setting powder, but it's too yellow on my skin tone, so it looks weird. And plus, I'm um, someone who gets very oily anyway, so I'd like to have more of a matte look because I don't need help with the dew. It comes naturally. And then I have my blush over here and there's just the tiniest bit left look at that not too bad however i do know it's kind of been looking like that for a minute and it's really hard to get my brush into it i'm really trying to like i'm like digging to swirl it around um but yeah it's really really thin too i don't know mm, i don't know if y'all will be able to see but it's so thin i think that you can see a little bit so yeah not too bad i'm also using this shade and this shade i'm kind of working them together as a blush as well so i'm doing a big dip in that like really swirling my brush in that and then tap tap and then putting it on my cheeks and for this one this is technically supposed to be a bronzer however if you can see the marble on it there's just not much of that like darker shade so it's really really light on me and I am someone who usually has trouble finding something like bronzers that are not too dark. So that's kind of surprising. But yeah, so I've been using them as blushes, basically. Um, this one's supposed to be a blush, but this one's not. So I'm using it as a blush, though, either way. Goals slash predictions. Um, hopefully, I'm working on the side of this anyway. So hopefully this will be gone by next time. Hopefully this will be gone by next time. Hopefully we'll have a blank pan and then a blank pan up here and I can start working down there and we'll get, um, you know, more progress over here. Also, I think you can see that over here, this is the plate right down here on these edges and same with up here a little bit. So we're making a little bit of progress on that as well. So that is exciting. Okay. Yes. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed this update. I hope you all are staying safe. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you find it necessary or would like to that would be helpful for me <laughs> um let me know how your pan palettes are going whether you're doing face palettes eyeshadow palettes all of that let me know how you're doing with everything all the craziness happening in the world right now um are you wearing makeup are you not wearing makeup all of that stuff i miss talking to you all and i'm really happy to be back so yeah thank you all so much have a good day